Hello everyone and a warm welcome to the Riverside Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, with me in the commentary box is Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Middlesbrough facing Everton. Yeah, thanks Derek. Should be a good game this one. I always wanted to start the game on the front foot, fast play, force the opposition to respond. Hopefully we get that from the start of this match. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man. Lee, what do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, we say to each other in the back four, don't give him a yard because he will score. Don't give this lad half a yard. He's such a great finisher. Look at the starting 11 for Middlesbrough. How would you sum up this formation, Lee? Well, 5 2 3, 3 4 3, lots of numbers. But the most important thing is the fullbacks. They need to supply support to their centre backs in defensive mode. But going forward, they have to supply some sort of support to the wide players who will try and provide the service for the lone striker. Enjoy the game. And here's how Everton line up. Jean-Philippe Gabama plays with André Gomes in central midfield and so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And now they get the ball rolling. An attack full of promise. Excellent challenge. This is Delph. And Pennington has it. Given away. And they are on the move again. Delightful pass. And he's in. And somehow he prevents a goal. Well, it looked a certain goal, Derek. The agility, the reflex is unbelievable. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Well, let's go to Alan McAdally because there's been a goal in the Arsenal game. It's a goal for Arsenal. Eight minutes played, 1-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. And it was blocked, that particular cross. And the referee says corner kick. Well, as we look at the table, the opportunity very much there for the hosts to go top if they can win. Well, Derek, really getting to the serious end of the season, the pointed end, as I like to call it. Always nice to have the points in the bag. Let them chase from behind. Couldn't hang on to it. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Fletcher. He's lost it. A bit sloppy in possession. Receiving news of a goal in the United match, Alan McAnally. It's a goal from... Ma and attempting the through ball. And offside is the decision. It must have been very closely. Well, yeah, the linesman's got the best view of them all. I think he got that right. And unfortunately, we did have to cut Alan McAnally short there. Just to confirm, Manchester United did score in that game. Well, visionary passing... Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Philip Binning. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. Fletcher. Billing. Are they going to forge ahead? It has to be, surely. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now, all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, here is the replay, and to be fair, the keeper from that distance hasn't got much chance of keeping it out. Lovely goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here.
And a goal has been scored at the Vitality Stadium. Alan McAnally with the details. It's a goal for Bournemouth. 29 minutes played, 1-1. Many thanks, Alan. Fletcher. Individual quality coming to the fore. Excellent ball over the top. Crossing possibilities. Firing it in. And he's gone and scored to level it again. Well, just look at the keeper. He thinks he's coming out. Have another look. It's in the back of the net. He's a little bit unlucky. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. As an attacking player, you rather hope you'll get the decision in your favour, but offside here. Yeah, the defence got that spot on, and so did the linesman. Billing with it. Oh, a lovely ball. The pressure was on the keeper following the threaded pass. Apia. And he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Gabama. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Two minutes of added time. Billing with it. Fletcher. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage. They've received their half-time instructions, and it's Everton who get the second half going. And here is Sisto. And across the touchline, so a throw in here. Delph. Sisto. Maybe in Delph. Excellent challenge. Take from Molyneux because there's been a goal there. Alan McAnally with the details. It's the second goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. It's been scored by Chris Wood. He controlled it fantastically in the air with his first touch and fired. Had a half volley into the top corner. 51 minutes played, 2-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Well, this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Lee. Well, he's... Surely! And the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers. Well, we can see the stats. They don't lie. They haven't created enough chances today, but the quality in the end should pull them through in this game. Opportunity to take the lead. Routine, really. Let's join Alan McAdally now because there's been a goal in the Burnley match. Alan. It's a goal for Burnley. 58 minutes played, 2-1. Thanks, Alan. Half an hour remaining then. Carabao Cup excitement to look forward to live here on EA TV. It's Middlesbrough and they'll be taking on Huddersfield Town. Yeah, cup football has its own special atmosphere for me. Mistakes can be really costly. Can't wait for that one. It might be on for them. And now passing it through. And it all counts for naught. They've decided that the time is right to make a triple substitution. Williams. Wonderfully weighted pass. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. But he has 
just veered into an offside position this time. Substitution time it is. Hayden. And a goal has been scored at the King Power Stadium. Alan McAdally will reveal all. It's a second goal for Leicester City. 73 minutes played. 2-1. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Everton facing Manchester United. Yeah, game up. Check to soon! How on earth did the goalkeeper get there? Well, he's died forever, hasn't he? He's got that strong hand on it. It's a brilliant save. Over it comes. Armstrong. And he could cash in. Timely save with the match level. Yeah, that looked like the winner, Derek. No one else in sight, but the keeper had other ideas. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. I can tell you, a goal has been scored at Old Trafford. Who has scored that goal? Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Manchester United. Eight minutes remain. 2-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Richarlison. Happy to take on the shot. And the referee says corner kick. Played into the centre of the box. Well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. Wood. It's with Isaac Hayden. Armstrong. It's opening up for them. Can they win it right here? Last man back and job done. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Kadijuri, Jean-Philippe Gabana. And still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. And dispossessed. And there goes the final whistle.